Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you my sticker collection and organization. You guys, I'm so excited about this because I've been working on it in all of my free time over the past couple of weeks and it is finally done and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. So I'm gonna be showing you inside all of these binders and showing you everything I use to create this organizational system. I could not be happier with it, I love it. First, before we get into my collection, I want to show you everything that I used in order to create this organizational system. The binders that I'm using are the one and a half inch glitter binders from Office Depot. They also have a one inch available, and I liked these because they're nice and big, and they also have pockets on either side of the inside, which you will see in the later bits of the video I do use. They had tons of these. They have lots of different colors. I actually had trouble deciding what color I wanted. There was a really beautiful rose color, and also like a bluish silver glitter that I just thought was so pretty. I really had a hard time deciding. I even considered getting one of each color, but I just decided to go with the simple silver. I just thought that that would be the prettiest and that's what I ended up doing. Inside of these binders, I have used these little holders from Amazon, which I will link, and I have three different kinds that I use. So this one are two holders and they hold kits. And then this one is nine and they hold teenies and some foil scripts. And this one is four and they hold like pretty much everything. So these come in packs with each size from Amazon. They look like this. This is a pack of the four pocket ones. I will link all three sizes of these below, but I did get two packs of the twos, two packs of the fours, and then one pack of the nines and that was plenty to get me through all of my sticker organization. I also created a few items that I've listed on my shop. I created these for myself in order to organize all my stuff and then I figured that you guys would be interested in this as well. So I'm just popping it up on my shop in case you're interested, but I do have, I think, five different organizational things that I'm gonna put on the shop along with this video. The first one are these binder, um, labels and I'll show you how I have these but I am gonna have it available in silver gold and rose gold not hollow unfortunately because it was really splotchy and I just my girls are really backed up with foil we do everything in house so it's just gonna be the three main colors but definitely the silver with the silver binders or that really it would go with all of them it would go with the rose it would go with the bluish silver like it's just so pretty so these are the four binders that I have currently. I have foil, kits, characters, and other. I'm going to show you the inside of all of my binders so you will get to see them, but I do have these available on the shop. I also have character organizational labels. So this is two pages of tons and tons of character categories. You'll see which ones I used in my character binder. I didn't use all of them. I actually added a bunch that don't even apply to me just because I was trying to hit every category. And so I figured if people wanna purchase this, there might be some that don't apply to them, but there might be some that do apply to them that didn't even apply to me. I just tried to have everything in there. And then I have a foil organizational pack, which has three pages. You have rose gold, gold, silver, and hollow in tons and tons of different categories. And then this page here is just if you have a smaller collection of something and you don't want to put it into actual like specified um, categories of color, you can just do like one category of like holidays or seasonal or whatever. Or if you just have a smaller foil collection and you don't want to split it up by color at all, you can just use this sheet here. But it does come in a set. The next two listings that I have are both weekly kit organizational listings. So the first one I have is actually a request from someone to do week labels 1 through 52 because they wanted to be able to create an organizational system where there was a spot for a kit for each week without having to redo it year after year if you had like specific week dates because it changes every year, you know? So this one comes with this page which has week one through 50 and then the second page has week 51 and 52 and all of the monthlies. And I also decided to create this one that has these specific dates because that's what I personally prefer. So it goes from September of this year all the way to December of this year and then it continues and has all of next year as well and also the monthlies. So it goes through September of this year 
through New Year's of 2021 and all of the monthlies as well. So those are the five sticker organizational listings that I have. I'm gonna just have this in the new release section just so it's easy for you guys to find. And even if no one wants these, I created them for myself. I figured I'll just pop them up just in case someone wants to have a similar organization to me. So I am gonna link everything below, but we're gonna get started. The first binder that we're gonna go through is my character binder. And this was the most fun one for me to organize. I had a blast organizing this. I think it's just so fun. Character stickers are my favorite. And what I did is even though on the sheets you can buy, I have everything in alphabetical order. I figured that that would be a way that a lot of people, it will make sense for them to organize in alphabetical order. But personally, I wanted to organize in a way that makes sense to me that probably doesn't look anything like the way you would organize. It kind of goes in order of like most used and then I just put categories together that make sense to me. So we're just gonna go through this. But for the characters, I used pretty much exclusively the four pack of organization. And then you'll see later on, I do have a few of the nine page and I think I might have a few of the twos, but mostly the character stickers fit in four packs. In the front pocket, I just have a few random things. I do have my fall bucket list from my shop. And then I have some character orders that I haven't actually opened and organized yet. They just came in. So I just have those in the front. And then I have all the categories that I didn't end up using. And I'm just keeping it in this front pocket just in case I end up wanting to use that one day. I don't know. I just figured I would keep it and so I have all that in the front and these ones will obviously get organized and put away I just just received it front page I decided to just do my four most used categories so I did mom life babies and family and then I did favorites and favorites is just things that I end up reaching for in a lot of spreads I think mostly I just have work stickers Dymo and post office bin. So it's just like work type things. And then mom life is everything mom and baby. Babies is just baby things. So baby bath, baby sleeping, baby bottle, etc. And then family is anything that is me and the baby and my husband or different family members all in one category. The next page is more of my most used ones. So I have work, sticker shop, social media, and planning. Planning is anything that's like planning in your plan social media is YouTube mostly YouTube stickers sticker shop is anything that's specifically sticker shop related not just work work is mostly laptop stickers sticker shop is like silhouette and like sticker type stickers the next page is couple friends elders and pets couple is anything me and Alex friends is me and anyone else elders is for now I just have teeny and her parents in here but I do have some grandparent stickers coming and then pets I just have all of my cat stickers in here the next page is TV movies me time shopping and reading this page is all of the things that I like to do in my free time like the things that I really enjoy doing so anything TV and movie related me time is bath pamper getting your hair done getting your nails done anything like that then we have shopping and reading down here the next page has kind of like more introverted stuff but like kind of veering towards negative not sleep sleep is just kind of fits in this category but then overwhelmed is like stressed or anxious or like really busy type stickers and then sick is anything from headache to cramping to stomach ache and then appointments is doctors and dentist appointments but really i can put anything appointment wise in that category but it's more like medical appointments in my mind then we have cleaning stickers, cooking, which I don't have any cooking stickers, but it is one of my goals in life to cook more. So I just wanted to keep a category for that open. And then we have grocery and food. This is food miscellaneous. You'll see the next couple pages are all food related, but this is like, I ate too much food, like overeating, just like miscellaneous things and samplers. The next page is food broken down into categories. So we have coffee and then we have drinks, which is mostly alcoholic, but I figured even if you don't drink alcohol, anything that's like not coffee could go into drinks. Then we have breakfast and desserts. And then we have Mexican food, Asian food, fast food, and healthy food. I broke these into these categories because I had specific stickers for them. But if you wanted to just have all your food stickers under just the food category, you could do that and not use these specialized ones. I just wanted to do that to break my stickers down further. And then I have 
an emotions page so we have love and emotions and these ones were meant to be sad and mad and then I just decided not to break those into further categories so these are just two to grow spots if I want to add anything in there Next, we have hobbies, happy mail, fitness, and weather. Hobbies, I have crafting stickers in here. It can be anything that's specialized to you, anything that you do that's like a little bit more of a niche, you can put in your hobbies category. Happy mail, I do have happy mail stickers, but they must all be in a pile somewhere because I could not find them. So when I find them, they'll go here. And then we have fitness, which is like walking, treadmill, weigh-in, those types of stickers. And then weather, which is a category I've been loving lately. And then I have seasonal stickers, spring, summer, fall, and winter, and I have any holidays that go into those seasons in these categories as well. So all of my Halloween ones are in with fall, all of my Christmas ones are in with winter, etc. Then we have celebrations, so birthday, wedding, pregnancy, and then this one is empty. I don't know what I'm going to put there yet. And I don't have any pregnancy stickers in here because I am not pregnant, but I know that when I am pregnant again in the future, that will be a full category, so I wanted to have a spot for it. And then we have Harry Potter, Disney, costumes, and travel. Harry Potter and Disney are self-explanatory. Costumes are any of my teeny and friends that are dressed up in different outfits. These are the little Game of Thrones teenies. And then travel, I have both specific travel and general travel in one category just because I don't have a ton of travel stickers. But you could break those down further. And then the next page is money, sports, and vehicles. And this one is empty to grow. So these are ones that I don't reach for as much. And then the last page for the fours are random samplers, miscellaneous, and freebies. These are just ones that don't really fit anywhere else. For miscellaneous, I decided to put any stickers that are Blair, so like Burnett stickers in here. And then I have a bunch of freebies, samplers that have a little bit of everything, and random. I have like game night and just things that don't really fit anywhere else. Then I have some of these nine page holders, and these fit perfectly my new format of Teeny and Friends. Anything that I'm releasing as of like maybe a month ago is in this new size, and it fits perfectly in these organizers, which I love. So I actually just have them spaced out. I have all of the girls in one pocket, so like all the lemonades, all of the holding the girls, all of the bops and I just have it like this so I can see it easily. And then I have a couple of the two pages in the back. I have holidays and celebrations down here from Once More With Love and Coffee Monsters Co. And then I have older wacky holidays that I didn't end up using that I'm keeping just because sometimes there might be something very specific that I'm looking for in a character sticker and I can go back. That actually happened a couple spreads ago with a Bumblebee sticker that I ended up finding in one of these wacky holidays. And then I have my GP Sticker Studio Hella stickers down here because they were too big to fit in the fours and I wanted to have them there. And then I have the Toffee Bananas big sampler sheets back here because they don't fit anywhere else. So that is my character binder. My character binder is definitely my favorite one of all of my binders. I just love it so much. Moving on to my least favorite binder, the foil binder. This was like the death of me, guys. I absolutely hated organizing this. It took me hours and it took me over the course of several days and I just did not have fun. It was not a fun process. Characters and kits were really fun to organize. I don't know why foil was the bane of my existence, but it was. I really did not like it. So in the front here, I have some samplers that don't fit anywhere else. So I have my Halloween and Thanksgiving countdowns and my Big Brother stickers in this front pocket. And then moving on to the bulk of the organizer, I have these four organizers here. And I have it separated by color at first. So this is all gold. We have deco full boxes, bougie boxes, headers, and half headers. And then still in gold, we have day extenders, dates. This is like miscellaneous, so it's like flags, movie marquees, half boxes, and then this is samplers or freebies here. And then still in gold, we have washi and other. So this has like different... Um, this is a two-page one, so we have all the bottom washi that I offer in my shop and a few from SPC, and then we have just like samplers down here. And then I have the exact same thing in silver, so deco, bougie boxes, headers, half headers, day extenders, dates, miscellaneous, and samplers, and then washi and other. And then we have the same thing in rose gold. We have the same thing in hollow. And then we get into random things. So this page is a four organizer and I have all of my script samplers in 
in here by color, but they're all different. So I have like all my gold ones, all my rose, all my hollow. I'll show you an example. So these are all like different script samplers, but I have them all in here by color, just because I don't need to have mine broken down further personally because I know my stickers so well, the ones that I offer in my shop, I know exactly what to look for. But if it's with someone else's shop, and you'll see that later in my, um, in my organizer that I do have other shops broken down further, but I just didn't need to for myself. And then I have Harry Potter, Disney, and then these are just like random countdowns and holidays, just different foil things. And then these are, these are like backup custom scripts that I made myself and custom scripts that I made myself that are like James stickers are there. Then we have seasonal spring, summer, fall, and winter. Anything that is seasonal goes in here and it's not broken down by color because I don't have a ton per season. And then these are the nines and this is what I mean by breaking it down further. I have all of SPC's samplers here and I have them by type. So I have all the colors together but I have each um, type of sampler separated that way I can whatever I'm looking for I can pull the whole stack out and then pull the color out that I want and then I have her new ones in here as well and I have all the colors in the same one but they're all separated these are her new format of her scripts and they fit in the nine um, organizer they do stick out the top a little bit but it doesn't bother me and then I have more this is more of her stuff and like some like seasonal things here and then the back page is random. I have some SBC Wiggles here in their packs. And I have this top one is literally like everything random. So it's like all my little deco things. Anything that's like doesn't have a home anywhere else is there. And then in the back I just have my uh, leftover organizing stickers that I didn't end up using from my pack. That's how my foil is organized for now. I am going to live with this organization for a little bit and I might um, split this binder up into two because look how thick it is this binder like doesn't even close it's huge and I don't know I just might organize this in a better way but for now this is what I have for my foil and this is what I'm gonna stick with until I decide what to do with it the next binder is my kit binder so this one has all of the kits in it that I have scheduled to use in my planner. And I have them by week and I chose not to do the week one, week two, week three. I chose to do the actual like dates. And these might change. I pretty much move my kits around as I feel like it as much as I want. But for now, this is what I have. So first week of September, I'm gonna use pumpkin spice for my shop. Then I have SBC's pumpkin patch. And then I have conspiracy written in the stars. Mean Girls, Creepy Pasta. Um, I have a blank spot there that I think is going to be my August sub. And then we have SPC's Haunted Mansion, Amok, Nightmare. And then I have a bunch of blank ones until you get to Thanksgiving. And I have everything in here through the new year and I just haven't organized or like set up pages past then just because I haven't been organizing my kits past then. But what I do here is I put everything in there that I need for the kit. So I have like this one already has its foil overlays because I did it for the new release video and I just decided to keep that one for the one that I use in my planner. But I also have like, you know, the glitter headers, the fashion girls. I have an extra set of the overlays just in case for whatever reason I wanted to do it on camera, you just never know. So then I have like the actual Lux kit here, all the pages, and then in the back I have the label add-on, and then I have another set of glitter headers and fashion girls because I think I didn't realize that I had two sets in there. I will obviously only use one. As I'm planning, if I come across foil or whatever that I wanna use for a specific spread, I will just stick it in here. And then after I do that spread in my planner, if there's anything that I didn't end up using, for instance, I won't end up using two sets of fashion girls and two sets of glitter headers for this collection, I will just add those to my D stash pile after I've done the video. But I prefer to have everything in there. So like for Mean Girls, I also have all the Mean Girls teenies in there and all of the foil and all of that. And like for a muck, I have the Hocus Pocus teenies. So everything is just ready to go for my planner and I love that. And then the last binder that I have is my other category. And this is just everything else. This is, well, it's not everything else. But it's kits that I actually do want to use that I want to keep on hand and keep organized in case I want to slip it into an empty spot. They're just ones that aren't scheduled yet for a spot. And I have another area that I keep 
other kits that I'm probably not going to use right now but I don't want to get rid of. This is not that. This is actually kits that I do want to use at some point. So we have my July sub, er, no this is June, wait, June and July or June and July? I think this is June and July sub. And then I have Vineyard, Mom Life, um, bloodbath, zombie. One of these will probably get moved into that one of that Halloween spots that I had open. And then I have SPC Witches Brew and SPC's Herbology 101. I probably will use this in the spring. I'm really excited about it. I love Harry Potter kits. And then we have Off the Grid, which I want to use if we end up going up to Wisconsin this fall. I have Spotted on the Runway, Not So Scary, Candy Cutie, Liquor Treats. Um, Scooby-Doo, I think it's called Zoinks. And then I have my functional multicolor. So this is my summer multicolor down here, all of the sheets. And this is just a ton of the filming trackers by SPC in some of her older multicolor colorways. And then in the back I have plain day extenders. And then I have extra stickers of my baby that I had printed to put in my planner. And these are just extra ones that I've just put back there. So that is everything for my other category. So those are my four sticker organizational binders. I also have these two gold containers that I keep everything else in. So anything random stickers that don't have a home or kits that I wanna keep but I don't think I'm gonna be using anytime soon are in these bins but I really don't go through them very often. So that is my organization. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.